We start looking for insights using Analytics Hub, which you can see on the screen right now. Analytics Hub is a catalog running on the Analytics Cloud platform that provides an end user access to any insights, whether it is SAP Cloud Insights, on-premise insights, but also third-party insights. Analytics Hub has an easy to navigate user interface, which can be refined quite easily with the taxonomy keyed in and set up by the administrator. So I can easily narrow down and refine my selection. I can also start searching, for example, to the word profitability. And you can see that the moment I type, it was automatic text search and I find over here a profitability analysis with, which runs in web intelligence and on-premise analytics product. So I open it, depending on the single sign-on, I have access, yes or not, and I can open up my web intelligence report. Here is my report, and as you can see, I have all the functionality that comes with web intelligence, of course. Going back to Analytics Hub, take out my filtering, and let's have a look at one of the Analytics Cloud or Digital Boardroom solutions. I'm interested in this case, JF Technology, which is about a services company running data on success factors, cloud for customer, field class, conquer, and many others. Let's open the responsive Dibo. And here you can see my digital boardroom for the company JF Technology. The digital boardroom, the content is completely driven and uh, developed using Analytics Cloud and everything is interactive. As you can see, I have my key performance indicators with all color-coded thresholds on top. I have various analysis on the left-hand side. I have a huge geograph, in this case in the middle, where I can make selections as needed. So I can easily click, select the polygon, for example, make a selection on what I'm interested in, and filter the data. There is full interactivity and I can, for example, zoom in on the specific period of my profitability forecast. I can also interact with the various graphs. For example, in my headcount per team, note that the other graphs have drilled with me. There is linked analysis. This chart drives the other charts when drilling down or selecting, for example. Within the digital boardroom, we can right click to have all kinds of navigation properties like preferences and driving, jumping through the various sections of the dashboard. For example, I can immediately go to the HR section of this dashboard by clicking the link. This is the HR section of the dashboard, again, fully interactive. And one of the cases that you see over here is the embedded what if analysis for percentage of termination of personnel. For example, if I play with this slider, I can immediately see the effect on the profit, an increase or decrease, as you can see right now. If I jump to Analytics Cloud using this same content, you can see the underlying reports over here. So this is Analytics Cloud, and I'm currently in one of the reports that we use for the digital boardroom. And as you can see, one story can have multiple tabs. By clicking the edit button, I go in design mode and can start adjusting my settings. As mentioned, Analytics Cloud allows to access multiple resources. If I click the headcount per team section, for example, I can show to you that we use various resources indicated in the builder section over here. Currently with this graph, I'm accessing success factors and field class data. I can easily add a link model to other sources of information that I'm interested in, for example, cloud for customer and embed the underlying metrics into the graph. This is done by simply adding a measure, for example. I could say, give me an additional measure, the amount for field class, and you can see that the graph is automatically adjusted. Very easily done. If I now jump to the human resources section, we can have a look at some other functionality as part of Analytics Cloud. 
For easy navigation and exploration of data, a user can always tap the Data View section. This brings you to the Data Discovery panel of the product. Let's have a look, a deeper look in the success factors data, for example. If I click the success factors data and I click the metric number of employees, you will see that Analytics Cloud immediately comes up with the number and an accompanying way of displaying just a KPI in this case. If I now add, for example, the attribute event, you'll notice that Analytics Cloud automatically adjusts the visualization. I can go to the people who, who were terminated, click and drill down towards a further detail level. If I'm interested in what offices the people who were terminated resided, I can click the plus button to add, for example, the office location and bring that to my analysis. And if I now change my graph, for example, to a heat map, I can drill down in my office location and immediately see that, for example, in North America, the uh, voluntary termination was the highest. At any moment in time, I can immediately add my exploration visualization towards my report. Let's go back to the original report, clicking the data view tab again. Another powerful functionality in Analytics Cloud are the smart insights. For example, when I look at the contractors with budget on track, I'm especially interested in the wet section indicated no. If I tick that section, I can filter it or deselect it, but I also have this little button indicating smart insights. If I tick that one, Analytics Cloud starts analyzing for me using its embedded algorithms. Over here, you can easily see that in this case, person Adam Tang, for example, is the top survivor contributor. All kinds of analysis are automatically generated by Analytics Cloud using its embedded predictive algorithms. At any moment in time, I can add a chart of my interest to the report adjust it, change it, or further enriching it. Let's have a look at the sales section of this report. Again, we see tremendous interactivity, for example, over here with the automatically usable input controls that allows a user to change the metric that he or she is looking at. But there is another very interesting capability in Analytics Cloud, which is called Smart Data Discovery. Let's start up a new one. Let's have a look at the expected revenue and create a new Smart Data Discovery. I select expected revenue and I deselect a number of elements that I want to exclude from my analysis. I also exclude deal, deal size. I now run the embedded predictive al uh, analytics algorithm. And now again, Analytics Cloud starts analyzing for me, but even in a way more detailed way. Over here, you can see the correlations calculated by Analytics Cloud. And in this case, I can see what correlates the most to my expected revenue being business area in this case. I can click it. And automatically, I can see already that Fortune 500 and Enterprise are the two biggest business area influencers to my expected revenue. I cut all kinds of metadata back and relevant information coming from the predictive algorithms. I can go further, click the underlying graph, graph and I immediately get a heat map where I can see my employee waiting against the business areas. Again, in this case, I could, I could have a look at the unexpected values generated by the algorithm, the unexpected data points. And at the bottom, there's even a very advanced simulation showing a waterfall clearly indicating which are the different elements that correlate, influence the most my expected revenue. This is very, very powerful technique, all embedded in Analytics Cloud.
To end up, I'd like to show you a little bit of the planning capabilities. As mentioned in one product, BI monitoring functionality, predictive analytics functionality, but also planning, business planning functionality. An example you can see over here with the value driver tree embedded in the product where we see my end metrics being profit. And over here, I see a tree of all kinds of influencing derived metrics. For example, I could have a look at recruiting cost and say I'm interested in changing the recruiting cost in my planning for the year 2018, for example, by 15%. I use the slider, I OK it, and you will see that the model now completely recalculates and shows the final result and impact my increase has on my final profit. Here's the result of my calculation, which you can see over here, adjusted. Let's go back to the digital boardroom now and have a final look at the navigation. Over here, you can see the navigation panel of the digital boardroom with the various sections that we have looked at. One last thing I'd like to show you is the hybrid reporting facility where we interlock analytics cloud with, for example, on-premise analytics. Over here, I see a tree in my on-premise business intelligence platform and just open up a simple report over here to show you use Analytics Cloud to even access existing business intelligence from SAP, for example. Thanks for your attention.